My name is Devendra Das Sarma. I'm an Intel Senior Fellow and a board member of PCI SIG board. I'm here to talk about PCI Express 6.0, the flick mode that we have, the forward error correction that we deploy, and also the cyclic redundancy check or CRC that is there in the PCI Express 6.0 specification. FEC stands for forward error correction. CRC stands for cyclic redundancy check. So what the FEC does is it corrects any errors that you might have during the transmission. What the CRC does after that is it checks if there are errors that have come through during the transmission even after the FEC has corrected. Typically what happens is your FEC correction capability is smaller. You can correct few number of errors. CRC detection capability is a lot larger. So for example, if I sent you something and you can only correct, let's say one error. If there is one error or zero errors, your CRC will pass because the FEC will correct, the CRC will pass. But if you got two errors, the FEC may not correct. And the CRC in that case is supposed to detect that error depending on the CRC's detection capability. And as we'll talk about, PCI Express has got a very robust CRC. So it will pretty much detect anything that will come through. There is, uh, you know, up to eight symbols of errors and beyond that, it's a two to the power minus 64 aliasing probability, which is extremely, extremely good. So once the CRC detects that there is an error, it will ask the other side to resend the packet. So hopefully the second time there will be no errors or you can get around the errors. If not, you'll try it for a third time and, you know, you keep trying till you get it right. FLIT stands for flow control unit. What it is, is it's a fixed size of transmission. So for PCI Express 6.0, we define everything in FLIT mode to be 256 bytes. That 256 bytes is broken into different chunks. The first 236 bytes are for transaction layer packets. TLP is for sort. So these are like things like memory reads, memory writes, things that you normally do across a link. Six bytes after that are for data link packets. So these are, you know, overhead kind of stuff like uh, link layer management stuff like, hey, you send me this flit, I got it, I'm giving an ACK or this flit had an error or these are the credits, things of that nature, they go in the DLP. We got 236 bytes of TLP six bytes of DLP, those are protected by eight bytes of CRC. This is a cyclic redundancy check. So that becomes 250 bytes. Now those 250 bytes are protected by six bytes of FEC, forward error correction. So they make up a total of 256 bytes, which is the flit. PCI Express 6.0 increased the data rate to 64 giga transfers per second. In order to keep our channel length the same as 32 gig, we decided not to increase the clock frequency. Instead, we decided to, instead of doing a 01 kind of, which is known as NRZ, non-return to zero, like binary transition between the data, for the data, a zero or a one, we decided to chop up the voltage into four levels. So you have the same clock frequency as 32 gig, but now you got four levels of voltages, which is known as PAM4 pulse amplitude modulation four level. Once you have PAM4, the downside of that is the errors become huge. Number of your errors, number of bit errors become, uh, become several orders of magnitude more than what we were used to. And not only that, those errors also have correlation, meaning it's not a single error that will happen. It could potentially propagate to subsequent number of bits. So not only do you have more number of errors in terms of several orders of magnitude more, but also they have a propensity to affect nearby bits. In order to get around that, we had to do something known as forward error correction. So that way you can get to a certain level of uh, reasonable data which, which still can have error but your error count has significantly gone down and then after that you want to rely on the CRC to detect and then do the replay now in order to do that you needed to send things in in order to correct errors you need to send them in fixed number of bytes and that is what the flit is so a flit is the basic unit of transfer 
within that you got self-contained FEC and CRC and all of those things fit within that. So that was the reason why we decided to go to the flip mode from so far we were in the non-flip mode but it was necessitated by this desire to keep the channel length the same as before which has got implications on platform design because we want to make sure that things are easy on our platform design our power consumption is low and all of that so we are willing to do a lot of things on the logic side on the silicon side to help that transition so forward error correction helps you with getting uh, the error rate effective error rate lower so that way you are less likely to have a split that after you do the correction that has an error so forward error correction helps sort of get over that hump. Without that, you would get a lot more errors. So you want to make sure that the forward error correction gets you enough so that you get to an acceptable level of errors. After that, you do the CRC. So the CRC will do the check. If something is still wrong after doing the forward error correction, you are going to go for a replay. So that is the benefit that the flip mode brings along with the forward error correction. It basically helps you get to doubling the bandwidth uh, with 64 gig while keeping the channel reach the same. Please go to www.pcisig.com to learn more about PCI Express 6.0. We have several white papers, we have several webinars, and we have several papers that talk about PCI Express 6.0 in a lot of detail.